Let's take a look at the molecular geometry for SF4. Initially when we look at it, you're probably thinking tetrahedral. It's got four things attached to the central sulfur, and that would make sense. Except that we have a lone pair of electrons right here, and we have to take those into consideration. According to valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, the atoms and the lone pairs of electrons are all going to push apart from each other, and that's going to give SF4 its molecular geometry. That's going to look like this. We have the sulfur in the center, and then our fluorines on the outside around it. So that's very different than the tetrahedral structure that we were talking about. And when you look at the structure, those lone pair electrons are right there, and you can see them forcing the fluorines down in accordance with valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. That's the molecular geometry for SF4. SF4 is kind of the poster child for the seesaw molecular geometry, so probably a good one to know. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.